Greetings Androids and welcome to the Synthetic Weapon Showcase. Before we begin, I want to mention that the information in this video stem mostly from personal experiences with the game. This showcase is supposed to be a small introduction to the weapon, rather than to explain every minuscule detail. Today we are talking about the PSG Emerald Sword. PSG stands for Plasma Shotgun. If you didn't know yet, in Synthetic, the family of plasma weapons has a distinct mechanic that no other gun in the game shares. Like the name suggests, it shoots projectiles made of liquid green plasma. Since there is no other category of plasma in the game, there are no custom ammo suppliers for this weapon. Plasma weapons have the fast recharge perk. This means that after a brief delay of not firing the weapon, the magazine fills itself automatically. Kinda like the passive effect engineer has, except it's much faster. To balance out this, at first glance, insanely strong effect that basically makes ammo management a non-factor for this weapon, emptying its magazine causes the weapon to overheat instantly. In consequence, you get hurt pretty badly and suffer from an afterburn effect. So the main mechanic of this weapon is, rather than managing your total amount of ammunition, you only have to juggle one magazine and be careful not to empty it accidentally. The standard variant of the Emerald Sword comes with a max size of 12, but each shot you take with this weapon consumes two bullets, which means you can effectively shoot this weapon six times before having to reload. Since you never want to empty your mag entirely, you have to wait after shooting five times in a rapid succession. This is actually not that good. There are lots of good effects in this game that are triggered by active reloading, which you just can't access with the Emerald Sword. Being able to only shoot 5 times and then having to wait a moment is pretty bad. The last perk of this weapon is a last shot spray, which increases the projectiles of your last bullet shot. You shouldn't opt for this though, since the burn is very severe. The last mechanic that makes the Emerald Sword unique is the fact that the projectiles spread out after a bit of travel time. Compared to other shotguns, this gives you more damage in long range encounters. Personally, I haven't played much Overwatch, but you could compare this behavior to Roadhog's right click a bit. Keep in mind that this delay doesn't affect point blank shots with this weapon. You are able to use this gun like any other shotgun in close combat and additionally in mid range combat as well. Unfortunately the PSG also suffers from poor base damage and very poor shield damage on top of that. Thus in most scenarios there are way better options. Please keep in mind that by giving this weapon good verdicts in this segment of the video, I don't mean to say that it's actually advisable to run this weapon on these classes. This gun really isn't on the top of the meta, and the following information is to be kept in perspective of that. Plasma weapons gain no class bonuses, which makes it hard to determine a perfect class you should run this gun with. Nonetheless, this is a weapon that benefits from lots of effects the individual classes bring to the table. This makes the PSG universally at least usable by each class. Thus, no class gets either 1 or 2 out of 5 stars. Starting with Right Guard, Assassin and Heavy Gunner, they get 3 out of 5 stars. Right Guard and Assassin specialize in SMGs, a pool of weapons which are generally very strong in this game. Especially on these classes, there are lots of choices that are in purple tier and most of the time appear before Emerald Sword so focusing on it instead of a strong SMG can be a blunder. Heavy Gunner is an odd one. There is definitely no problem in picking up this gun and keeping it as a dust collector in Heavy Gunner's big inventory, but the PSG doesn't have that many synergies with this class besides the option to keep it in his inventory. I can't imagine any scenario where a Heavy Gunner wouldn't prefer an LMG over this weapon. Next up we have a huge bulk of classes that get 4 out of 5 stars. Raider is a good generalist class that can switch up between long and close range encounters, which makes him an effective user of PSG's ability to engage in both types of combat. He can also use the downtime of the mag reloading to use his blade or dash away which makes for a good combo. Breacher is the designated class for shotguns, however he isn't on top of the list because the Emerald Sword's quirk of reloading itself is counterintuitive to his ability of reloading with his dashes. Also, he doesn't get his shotgun bonuses on this gun. I personally think most other shotguns are better on him, but that doesn't mean he can't use PSG effectively. Demolisher is this high up because of the synergy item Firewater. 
it increases damage of explosions, which is his preferred way of dealing damage. Firewater also increases plasma damage, which makes this a good combination. Keep in mind that Demolisher gets double stat upgrades on explosive and special weapons, which, in my very honest opinion, makes running anything that isn't such a weapon kind of a blunder. Nonetheless, PSG can be a fun option for demo. And on top of the chart we have Engineer with 5 stars. Since Engineer's own specialist bonus isn't that detrimental like Demolisher's, it's perfectly fine to miss out on that bonus. The main reason I'm putting Angie on top of the list here are his insane synergies with mainly two items. As I mentioned previously, Firewater increases Emerald Sword's damage. On top of that, it increases burn damage, which mainly comes from Engineer's drones. So by taking Firewater, NG benefits in more ways than just one. Furthermore, Uranium, a top contender of the strongest items in Synthetic's pool, benefits from the high amount of projectiles the Emerald Sword delivers. Each projectile will apply one stack of radiation. A perfect build for the PSG in my book would be Engineer, who got his hands on the Elemental Power module while also finding Fire, Water and Uranium. But as you can imagine, you are at the courtesy of RNG to actually get this combo. Here's my attachment tier list for the Emerald Sword. You can see that PSG can't make much use of a whole bunch of attachments because of its lack of the reloading mechanic and custom ammo suppliers. Going through the tiers very quick, anything that increases mag size is great on this weapon. Custom fitting increases first shot impact for shotguns. This synergizes with Emerald Sword because of its reload you will actually trigger a first shot relatively often. Anything that decreases heat passively is also good on this weapon since the main way of lowering heat is active reloading, which this gun can do. Randomizer is a gambly pick, which means it won't reach S tier this time around. The reason is that while being risky to roll for a second variant, having a class bonus applied to your weapon twice makes it re a relatively safe attachment to choose. The PSG, however, has no class that gets a class bonus, so it's way more risky. Furthermore, Things that make you able to run and gun are awesome, however, Directional Dispenser might screw up the deviation of this gun a little too much. You should counteract this with things that give you accuracy. Any attachment that make this weapon shoot bursts or become full auto should be taken with extreme caution. You really don't want to accidentally burn yourself. Bottom tier are attachments that have to do with ammo management, decrease your mag size or give custom ammo supplies. Since you don't need or want those effects, you can easily ditch these choices. The PSG Emerald Sword is, in my opinion, a weapon that would be great if it wasn't held back by its stats so much. It starts off with a 0.7 times damage multiplier and has only 30% damage on shield, which is really bad. Its mechanic of punishing you for shooting recklessly is something you have to get accustomed to, so expect to get burned quite often the first time you use this gun. Its main strengths are eating up plated enemies and dishing out good AoE damage at mid-range. Personally, I think any gun can beat the last defender when playing at 140% difficulty, but the PSG has too many flaws that prevent it from being usable in other scenarios. There are just too many good effects you get from reloading actively and sometimes it's just faster to reload your gun than to wait for it to recharge. On the plus side, I don't think I've ever seen a weapon quite like this in any other game I've played before, so big props to Flowfire Games for making such a unique weapon. Also a warm thanks to Killjoy and BadZX for helping me make the attachment tier list for this video more objective and providing me with a more educated opinion on this weapon. I hope you enjoyed my showcase of the PSG Emerald Sword and I will see you in the next video.